what is going on guys mr bison gaming here and we've got something a little bit different for a change today guys we have a tier list i haven't done a video like this before and i thought why not something new for the channel and i'm going to see different stuff that i can make tier lists on when it comes to runescape if anybody has any suggestions let me know in the comments and also while you're checking out the comments make sure that you like comment and subscribe and support the channel a little bit more so in making an old school runescape theme tier list i wanted to know some suggestions for some different tiers and what we could call them uh shout out to the guys over at rugged for helping me out with this but we've got dragon we've got rune we've got adamant we've got mithril we've got steel and we've got bronze now as i said tier list a tier list on what we're doing a tier list on all of the pets in old school runescape now just a disclaimer all of these opinions are mine if you don't agree with them let me know in the comments if you do agree with them let me know in the comments but either way let's get into it so guys we are going to be starting with the bronze tier for me the only thing that can kick off the bronze tier is the chompy chick i get why it's a massive achievement to have the western provinces elite diary done but for me i don't really rate this as a pet i think it's really common i think a lot of people have it but yeah that's why it's going there okay guys next up we have got the phoenix pet i personally think anybody has a very strong chance of getting this if you're making an account around now i think pretty much everybody starts off with winter top it's quite a common pet to get and yeah that's really about it once again this is just comes down to how common the pet is if i like the pet in general and yeah next up guys we have the kraken pet i feel like it is the generic pet of anybody that does slayer i feel feel like a lot of people have the Kraken pet as well. It's not, in my mind, that much of an achievement anymore. I just see it as a pet that a lot of people have and a lot of people will continue to get. Okay, guys, next up, a little bit of a shocker, I think, for people, but I'm putting Heron in bronze tier. I personally don't like the Heron pet, and for that exact reason, I'm also going to be putting the Rock Golem in there. Now, I know the Rock Golem and the Heron both have me metamorphosis and it can look better, but personally, I think if I'm going off of just their base kind of looks, yeah, they both are pretty stinky, to be honest. And it wouldn't be a bronze tier without the worst pet in the game, in my opinion, the giant mole. I just think it's such an easy pet to get in camp, and it's just not, it's not there for me. I just don't like it. Um... The only other pet I'm going to put in this tier, I think at the moment, is the Baby Chin Chomper. Um, personally, I think if you look at the two Hunter pets, you've got Herbivore and this. Herbivore is just cooler. It just looks better. Um, it just overall beats out the Baby Chin Chomper. And that's really the only reason it's down here. Okay, guys, so we're on to the Steel tier. Um, the Steel tier itself is just going to be compiled of pets that I don't want to put much higher than the Bronze, but it's still not kind of a big pet to me, like look-wise or achievement-wise. So for me, I'm going to be putting the DK's pets to start off the Steel tier. I personally just think they look really bland. I know they're literally just miniature versions of the DK's, but... For me, I don't find DKs that interesting to look at. I don't find them that interesting to have a pet of. So that's why they're there. The next one, a little bit more controversial. I'm going to put the Nibbler pet in here. I'm not a big fan of how this looks. Now, the Metamorphosis to get Zuck, I love. If I had the Zuck pet, this would probably be up here. But because it's the Nib pet, we're putting it down here. Now the next three that I'm going to put in the steel, I'm going to kind of put them all in and then explain why. So I'm going to start with the Chaos Ellie pet. I'm also going to add the Jad pet. And then I'm also going to add the Zolra pet. Now, personally, I think these are all quite cool pets, but there's not really much to them. A lot of people have the Zolra pet. The Jad pet, yeah, fine. It's cool to do the Cape Gambles, but that's the only reason I think it even gets this high. And the Chaos Ellie pet, I just think, you know, it, you can get this pet from two different um, monsters, albeit at different drop rates, but it's still not that cool to me. Um, it's not really a unique pet if you can get it from two different things. So that's the only reason it's going in steel. And you know what? Thinking about it, I'm also going to add the Beaver pet in here. And I was going to put Rocky in Mithril, 
but I also think Rocky can go in here. I just don't get the happiness of getting either now i've had five accounts on runescape and not got rocky on a single one of them so i want rocky you know if i'm going off how much i want a pet rocky's up here because it's just eluded me for so long but overall look yeah i'm gonna put rocky here and thinking about it i've just moved the giant squirrel in here as well mainly for the same reasons as beaver and rocky i get they're skilling pets i get they're going to be more common but for me uh, there's, I don't really like the skilling pets. There's a couple of skilling pets missing. Uh, if you can figure them out right now, put them in the comments. But yeah, for me, I'm not a huge fan of the skilling pets in general. There's only a couple that I like, and hence why those couple aren't currently on here. But that pretty much rounds out the steel section, in my opinion. So let's move on to Mithril. So the Mithril tier, let's kick off with ones that I think are going to be quite, you know, fence city. The Mithril tier and the Adamant tier for me are kind of the ones where it's like, they're not good enough for me to consider them great. And they're not bad enough or on par with like the Jab Pet, the Kraken. So I'm going to start it off probably with both of the Spider Pets, uh, the Seracnus Pet and the Venonatus Spiderling. I think they're both cool pets. I think they achieve what they're for, you know, big pets for the big spiders. Uh, I just personally don't really like the look of them. Uh, the next pet I'm going to be putting in here is the Scorpia pet. I like Scorpia. I think Scorpia is cool. But, you know, along with Chaos Ellie and Venonatus, I don't think their pets are that amazing. I don't think Scorpia's offspring is that amazing of a pet. And yeah, that's why that's in here. The next pet that I don't think is going to be too surprising or controversial uh, I'm going to be putting the uh, herbivore in Mithril. It's better than the Chin Pet. The herbivore looks awesome, but for me, it's just a kind of meh. Like I can go without it. It's not going to be a big killer. I'm also going to put the Callisto Pet in because it's one. It's a wildy boss, and they don't really appeal to me in general. Neither do the pets. They don't really look like they appeal to me. But I just personally think there's a lot better pets in here than a tiny bear and thinking about it i had to stop the recording and just um and ah about this one but yeah i'm gonna go with it i'm gonna go with a conviction i'm also gonna put the hell puppy in mithril um for me it doesn't you know it's it's a hellhound at the end of the day with a choker on it's not that appealing to me if it had the three heads of cerberus i'd love the hell puppy um but along with that i'm also gonna be putting the fermi pet in here I like Fermi. I like all of these kind of bosses that you can get stuff from. I just personally think that their pets are really underutilized. The only thing that I like about the Fermi pet now is the fact that you can have like the nuclear option on it. And I think that makes it a lot more appealing and look a lot cooler at the same time. Guys, I almost forgot to add in another one to the bronze tier. This is going to be controversial as hell, but the Penance Queen, it's just a Cyclops with a hernia. I am not a massive fan of of the penance queen i get it's a rare pet and not many people have it but yeah personally look wise just straight out the window for me moving on to the adamants here guys these are where the pets kind of pick up for me and they look a lot cooler and they start having a lot more appeal to me so i'm going to be starting off the adamants here with the pet dark core i just think it looks really cool uh that's really the only reason i like the look of it and the metamorphosis into corporal beast amazing next let's just get them all in there all of the god wars dungeon pets because one they're iconic two i think pretty much everybody has tried grinding for one of these at one point if you're into that sort of stuff and it's just a really iconic set of pets if you ask me bandos Cr uh krill's pet zilly kree they're all incredibly cool also guys i'm gonna add the calfire princess into here just because of the i the iconicness of going for the kq head and if you get lucky you get the pet I don't think the pet's that good looking. I just think it's a really weird grind to go for. And some people have it, some people don't. But personally, I kind of like the look of the pet. It's not a great looking one. It's not on the level of like any of the God Wars dungeon ones. But it still kind of saves up. I kind of like it. Now the next pet in here is going to be controversial. It's the newest pet. It's Tiny Temper. I like the Temperos boss. I like the mechanic. I like how the pet looks on the floor. I just think it kind of looks weaker than a lot of other pets. It's not because by any means the pet 
looks like crap. It just isn't on par with some of the ones that I've got for Rune and Dragon. But yeah, that's my only reasoning. Moving on to the Rune tier, guys. We have some of the more controversial picks, and I'm going to get them out of the way, right? But I'm going to start with KVD. I think KVD is one of the most iconic pets in RuneScape. Whether you play OSRS, whether you play RS3, it's just an iconic pet to have. And it's an amazingly fun grind. The pet just looks awesome. And that's the only reason it's going in there. The next pet I have up here is the remaining Wilderness boss, which is Vetian or Vetian. It just looks amazing. I love the pet. I love the fact that it's literally just the miniature-sized version and even then, it's not a tiny pet, guys. It just looks really cool. Along with this, I'm also going to put in Nightmare. And I'm also going to put in the Abyssal Orphan. It's not that uncommon of a pet compared to others, but I think it just looks really strange. And for me, that's really intriguing and kind of inviting. So that's why that's going in there. In this tier, I'm also going to put a lot of pets that have variants. So I'm going to start with the Tangle Root. Tangle Root is just an amazing looking pet. When you add like a dragon fruit seed to it, it just looks awesome. So it's going in there. Along with the Lil Creator slash Lil Destructor, Skotos, because who doesn't want a tiny version of Skatizo following them? Like, really, it's iconic, guys. Along with Alchemical Hydra, mainly because of the metamorphosis. I don't like this version of the pet. I like the version where. Uh, I think it's the red one with like two or three heads. I think that's probably the best looking version of the pet. Uh, I'm also going to add in Dusk and Midnight. Personally, I like the variants. I like the fact you can switch through them. And they both look really good for what they are. I'm also going to be putting in Younglyph. I've never seen this pet. But it does look awesome. If anybody has the pet, add me in game find me or message me because i do just want to see it it looks really awesome and guys we are on to dragon the main tier the big boys so what's right but to start dragon with a dragon we have vorky vorky is just an awesome looking dragon it in my mind looks a lot better than the K kvd pet and that's the only reason it's up here i also think dragon slayer 2 is an awesome quest and the idea of getting Vorky still kind of makes my blood boil because I cannot see myself killing that much Vorkath. But yeah, that's going to start off our dragons here. Next up, guys, we're going to be putting in the Rift Guardian. For me, it is the only skill in pet that I look at and think I really want that. That is the only reason. The metamorphoses on it are amazing. And for me, it's once again probably the most iconic skill in pet in my mind. Uh, the next pet after that is going to be Zolcano. I love the pet. The pet looks amazing. There is no other reason for me putting it in here than it just looks awesome. After that, we have the Bloodhound, mainly for the rarity. I'm not going to lie. I just think a dog with a deer stalker is a really awesome pet. And the fact that the dog, for some reason, is absolutely huge. Now, for those that have not clocked on, the only other two bosses that we have left are Ulm. Uh, I'm not a big fan of the Ulmlet. I like the dust variants. I think that if you can have a mini Tecton follow, uh, Tecton follow you, it'll look a lot cooler. But, you know, still got to put Ulm up there. And finally, we have Verzik or Lil Zik. What an amazing looking pet. I think all, any of the TOB bosses look cool. I just think that the original Versic pet looks the best. And guys, that pretty much concludes our tier list. Thank you all very much for watching. Uh, like, rate, comment, sub, do all the good stuff. And I will see you all for another video. Make sure, guys, if you want any more tier lists, comment below what sort of tier list you want to see. And I'll see you all in my next video. Have a good one.